I would like to share some of my experiences with helping PhD candidates to write their literature review. And the question they most often ask me is, when can I stop with doing the literature review? When can I stop with reading? When have I read enough? And when do I know enough? And usually the answer I give contains three elements. One are practical elements, two are substantial elements, and three I discuss some risks with them. So the first practical question that you have to ask yourself is basically what does my supervisor say? Because your supervisor is there to help you and he or she will have a load of experience about this and she can tell you when to stop. The second practical thing is to ask yourself how much time do I have? Do I have four years for the whole thesis or do I have one year to write an article about the topic? Do I write a book length thesis or an article based thesis? The rule of thumb I use for my PhD candidates is that I say you need about one third of your time for reading, one third of your time for doing the research and one third of your time for writing all of it down. And with that rule you can calculate your own time investment. Substantially, it is really very important to stay close to your research question when you do the literature review. So, for instance, if you have a research question about smart cities, you will notice that there's a whole lot of literature about smart cities, and you can easily drown in that. But if you refine your research question to, for instance, the question, how do citizens experience smart cities? How do they feel in smart cities? You can make a much more specific literature search. And then it becomes easier to say, okay, I have now seen everything people have written about citizen experiences in smart cities. So the research question is really your key rule for stopping your literature research. And specifically with broad topics like smart cities, it is really very easy to drown in your subject and you should be careful about that. The other side is possible as well, that you have a question that is hardly been topic of research. And so, for instance, I have a student doing research about music in the circus, and the circus hasn't been researched much, and music in the, in the circus hasn't been researched at all. So she found one book that was helpful, and then had to think, where do I find other material that is relevant? And she's now looking at film and film music. So those are substantial uh, questions. And again, a rule of thumb is that you stop with searching literature and you stop with reading once you have reached what we call saturation. So if you do another literature search, you don't find anything new anymore and you don't find a new approach anymore. So when you've reached saturation, then you should stop. Finally, some risks of doing the literature review and of reading. Very often when you're a bit uncertain, a bit insecure about whether you know enough to write your ideas down or whether you know enough to write your research results down, you start reading again. And that is a real trap because at some point it is you who has to make the decisions. You know the things now and you should stop reading and you should start doing things, doing the research, writing your readings down and giving it to your supervisor for final assessment.